Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Retro Nemo, and it is time to bow down once again to our great lord and savior, Jeff Kinney, because yes, there's some more Wimpy Kid news. Oh boy. Diary of Wimpy Kid, at this point, is a franchise, it's been a successful book series, it's had successful movies, a couple successful movies actually, and a movie that none of us talk about. Shh. And besides that movie, which pretty much tanked at the box office, and a steady stream of Wimpy Kid books, there has not been a lot of new Wimpy Kid media coming out. That is, until we heard wind that there is, apparently, a new Diary of Wimpy Kid television series in the works. Now, at this point, there's really nothing known about the movie. We don't even know if it's going to be animated or live action. Just a vague announcement, and apparently the news that is going to be made by the person who made The People vs. OJ, which I personally think is the last project a producer would take on after making an Emmy-winning series, but who am I to judge? Now you might be thinking, well, where does Wimpy Kid TV show come from? I mean, it's sort of coming out of nowhere, isn't it, Retro Nemo? Well, this is undoubtedly an after effect of the Disney Fox merger that has been in the news recently. If you didn't know, Disney just acquired Fox and basically owns the world now. And Fox owns Wimpy Kid. They produced all the movies. So it makes sense that when Disney came in, they all had a new boss and they were experimenting and they were probably looking for new pitches and fresh ideas, just looking to create more original content, which is what led to this Wimpy Kid series being made. There's still a huge audience for Wimpy Kid stuff online more than ever, and everyone read the books as a kid, so there's gonna be that nostalgia. On top of that, you can look to series and movies like the Captain Underpants franchise, which has been extremely successful over on Netflix. And on top of that, it's actually just a really great show. Everyone should watch it if they haven't. There's also If You Give a Mouse a Cookie on Amazon, and a new show based off of Dr. Seuss called Green Eggs and Ham. I'm not really sure what's going on there. If this ever gets produced, and when it does get produced, it will probably most likely drop on Disney's new streaming service, Disney+. Plus. That seems to be where they're pushing all their original content, and everything just seems to be going. If anything, I anticipate this is going to be just like a new retelling of the books. The idea of a series makes me wonder, I mean, how are you going to turn these books into a television series? Is there actually going to be an ongoing plot with this? Are we going to see a Wimpy Kid story arc? That would be amazing. But other than that, I can see it just being maybe like a slice of life and that is a classified type show based on the Wimpy Kid books. I mean, we could get entirely new original stories in this Wimpy Kid universe, especially if it's live action. They announced two other shows along with this, a Night at the Museum television show is in development along with an Ice Age animated series. So again, it just really looks like Disney's capitalizing on all of these new IPs that it has. And again, they're smart to do it with Wimpy Kid. Wimpy Kid is huge. It's got a huge following. There's new kids discovering the books every single day. Hopefully they don't change Roderick too much again, though. That was that was a bad chapter in Wimpy history. Either way, I have to say I'm very excited for the series. If it ever does come out, it could be stuck in development hell forever. And hopefully we get some more information about it soon. In my perfect world, it would be entirely animated, but there's a chance it could be some kind of weird animation live-action hybrid. I mean, that would be really cool. But as always, we're just gonna have to wait and see. And I wanna know what you guys think. Are you excited for this? Are you not? Let us know in those comments down below. If you wanna consider helping out the roundtable, you can consider supporting us on Patreon. There you can get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the roundtable to stay in the loop with all things animation. Guys, I'm Retro Nemo. This is a Cartoon News Update, and I'll see you next time. Peace.